every Captain Kirk love interest in Star Trek. Captain James T. Kirk, William Shatner, was known as a ladies' man, and he had quite a few love interests during his time on Star Trek. The original series. Never afraid to use seduction as a method of getting his way, Captain Kirk was romantically involved with humans and aliens alike, though none of his relationships ever worked out long term. Frequently visited by previous loves while captaining the USS Enterprise, Kirk's romantic past was never far behind him, and it got him into trouble as much as it helped him. Even as he got older, Kirk never stopped trying to charm nearly every woman he came across. In many episodes of Star Trek, the original series, Captain Kirk encountered a new woman that he tried to put the moves on. No matter which actor was playing Kirk in Star Trek, the captain's outgoing and seductive personality was a quintessential trait of the character. While he was known as a seducer, there were characters such as Marta the Orion, Lavon Craig, and the shapeshifter Marsha Iman, who attempted to use his sexuality against him, though they were rebuffed. Alternatively, not every female friendship Kirk had was romantic, as his relationship with Dr. Gillian Taylor, Catherine Hicks, proved in Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Eve McHuron was one of the most tragic characters in Star Trek, the original series. As seen in T.O. Season 1, Episode 6, Mud's Women, Muron was given the Venus drug to enhance her physical beauty and sent by the huckster Harry Mudd, Roger C. Carmel, to seduce Kirk. She realized she was being used and couldn't overcome the actual feelings she had begun to develop for the captain, thus putting her at odds with her employer. She did not end up with Kirk, though she did find a much nicer marriage arrangement that allowed her to leave Harry Mudd behind for good. Captain Kirk and Dr. Helen Knoll's relationship started professionally, but the events of Star Trek, T.O. Season 1, Episode 9, Dagger of the Mind, perverted them. Kirk and Knoll were introduced at a ship function, and though they danced together, there was no outward sign of a relationship brewing. However, when investigating the penal colony on Tantalus, the mind probe was used to try to hypnotize Kirk, and the romantic feelings he had for Noel were used against him. Though the episode features one of the best Captain Kirk quotes, the events of Dagger of the Mind saw the potential relationship between these two characters. Desperate to protect her father from his previous crimes, and with an unquenchable desire to perform, Leno Caridian used Captain Kirk as a pawn in her deadly scheme. Star Trek, the original series season 1, episode 13, The Conscience of the King, saw Kirk's questionable romantic interest completely blind him in a time of crisis. As Leno continued to eliminate witnesses to her father's crimes, Kirk was unwilling to suspect his new love and was oblivious to the fact that he was being used. Kirk was usually good at balancing his duty and his romances, but the episode The Conscience of the King showed a rare exception.